Well, this came in today. New front bumper. I throw it on. I sold that Rubicon bumper. I sold it for six hundred. Uh, I bought it for three hundred. Sold my OEM for sixty-five. So I technically paid two thirty-five. This was four thirty after taxes and shipping. So, and I like it a lot better. So I throw on. This is the front bumper I ended up going with. It's actually a, a front stubby with a winch plate. Uh, I'm not gonna burn a winch, but I actually really like this bumper. It's probably like the only bumper I like that was aftermarket. So this is what it looks like from behind. Came with all the hardware needed. These are to bolt up the factory fog lights. And all these brackets are for uh, if I'm installing the winch plate, which I'm not, I'm gonna keep them just in case. Later down the line, it came to mine. Other than that, came with everything needed, and it uses your factory fog lights. So, so these are my factory fog lights. Uh, I actually changed out the bulbs, the LEDs. So, I tried them on earlier. It made a really big difference. So I'm gonna grab this. So these brackets just connect to your back of your fog lights, they clip in. And this is supposed to go into here. Let me see. Like that. There you go. So they clip in like that. Pretty simple. So now you just throw them in there like that. There we go. I'll tighten them up right now with the side. So there's three bolts on each side. Uh, they're self-tightening, so you just just tighten them with some of these. So they're tightened. Let's see, what else do we have to do? That should be it, we just gotta put it up, mount it up. These are actually pretty cool because they help hold the, the bolts in place. So we just gotta mount it up real quick. I definitely have to curve this hole because this shit is huge and I don't want to winch so. But so far it looks good and mounted up really easily. The holes were perfect. Alright, so let's just put some bolts to hold it down. So, like the old stock bumper and the Rubicon bumper, four bolts on each side. I don't know if I can get this one. Yeah, with the washers and everything. Uh, I just gotta tie them up now. And then
All right, so let's bolt it down. This one might need a little bit more time. Let me see. Those are good, those are good, and the two outsides are good. So now we just gotta put the fog lights. For now, we use this little covers for the holes. To make it look a little bit better until I cover that winch hole. So, see, so now you can't see those holes. That's ah, not as obvious anymore. So I have holes up there. I'll cover those when I cover the whole winch hole. So let's just hook up the wiring harness really quick. That one connected, this one's a little short. Let me see. There we go. So now, let me see if I can see this. We got it in, I'm just gonna cover the wiring harness with some zip ties, cause this shit's hanging like crazy. Let's see. The track hot. Shit's bad. I need me one of those. There it is, you can't really see it. I'm gonna cut these zip ties right now and that's about it. Just gotta test the lights really quick. There we go. That was pretty good. I wanna cut that bar in the front because I don't like it at all. But other than that, I'm gonna change the headlights next and some uh, some new fenders too, because this is uh, ugly. So this is the finishing product. Came out really nice, I really like the bumper. It's pretty light too, it's not too heavy, and it's steel, so. Just gotta cover those holes, and it'll look a lot better. But other than that, that's a wrap for this video, fellas.